How long does it take you to change a flat tire? Never tried it before? You're a project manager, try to estimate or ask your team what will be their estimate. And by the way, do you think you're gonna do any better if you do it together with your team? Stay with me and I'll show you this little pit stop exercise that will teach you and your team to come up with the best possible realistic estimates and bring the team trust to the next level. This is part of Project Managers Not PMPs course. Hello and welcome to all Project Managers Not PMPs. My name is Sergey Brovkin. I am a certified recovering project manager and this is my advanced project management course. Last week we checked the math behind the immutable law of project management stipulating that even a carefully planned project will take you twice as long as expected. Today I will show you how to beat this law. We will learn an exercise, a team exercise, that will allow you to come up with the best possible realistic estimates and bring your team morale and trust to the next level. Of course, this is part of Project Management 2.0. You will be impressed when you try it with your team how much the difference will be. Your estimates will be much better, you will mitigate quite a few risks and your team will be closer and more aligned. As project managers, often we have to build a team out of a group of a almost perfect strangers. So this exercise in the beginning of the project comes in very handy to put together a real functional team. As you are still watching this course, you must be either an aspiring project manager who needs a boost to get started from the right foot, or you are a manager who wants to do it better with your team. In either case, you have a good drive to make it happen, and this is what's important when you do this exercise with your team. So let's do it this way, I'll do it with you as if you are the project team, and that will show you how to do it later on and as soon as possible with your real team at work. Now, how long will it take you to, th to change a uh, flat tire? 15 minutes. 5 minutes. 1 hour at least. Going once, going twice. Usually I get something between 5 minutes and 45 minutes. Very rarely 1 hour. And then we do this exercise with the team. On the whiteboard we do a small Gantt chart. And already at this stage we see that we might have missed a few steps here and there that will take the overall estimate higher and higher and higher. And eventually we stop at something that's realistic, 20-25 minutes. Next question, how long do you think it takes the F1 team to change the tire? If you don't know, you may ask Google and Google will tell you that currently it is under two seconds to change all the four wheels. Like this. Did you see anything? Probably not much. So for this particular workshop with my team, I am using a desperately outdated video when the pit stop was about seven seconds long. There, in slow motion, we can at least see something and discuss what we are not doing and what the guys are doing. But in this particular case, as we are using project management 2.0, you remember from our last meetings, we are not asking or answering the question why not. We're asking the question how to, because with project management 2.0, you can do almost anything. And actually everything. Yes. So let's watch this video again and try to find the gap between the F1 team and our team. I have an important remark to make here for this exercise to work your team must be fully involved and engaged. Door prizes help. Prepare them beforehand and let the team know that they will follow for the best before, for the best uh, participation, for the most creative innovation, for the most valuable suggestion and so on and so forth. You have a good reason to share some of your company swag with your team. For technical reasons, I will not be able to do this with you today, but to grab your attention, I'll promise that I will do something for you for this participation. If you subscribe and uh, send me an email, 
with the promotion code PITSTOP I will do a free Q7 Culture Compass assessment for your project team. Just drop me a line. Now we have come to the core of this exercise, understanding the gap between the F1 pit crew performance and your team performance. You may watch the video again with your team and ask the team to highlight what is the gap between your performance and put it on the whiteboard. And uh, apart from the obvious hard stuff like best tools, unlimited budget and so forth, uh, your team will probably come up with some other observations, soft style, like clear rolls, which means that people do not step on each other's toes, but at the same time nothing is left unattended. Practice, practice and practice, practice makes perfect and monitoring while practicing is the best way to improve your performance sustainably. Finally, teamwork, corny as it may sound, but team building is necessary to achieve superior results. With that in mind, now that you know how F1 works differently, changing tires at least 500 times faster than you can think of, you may with your team decide not to just change the estimates of every activity on your project Gantt chart, but to go over the entire tire change project plan and maybe come up with even a different sequence of activities. So what would you have done better with the tire change, with the flat tire change, after you know all these points? And um, probably the people will assume that we would have the necessary tool set readily available, the jack is in good shape, oiled and uh, functions well, the spare wheel doesn't need additional pressure, and your partner passenger knows how to help and when, and so on. Your graph will change after that and uh, just going through this analysis will improve your time theoretically and practically. Of course, the insights you gain from this tire change exercise will not immediately change the way your team operates, but it will trigger a discussion. And right here, after the pit stop exercise, you uh, show the team the real Gantt chart of the real project that the team is working on now and ask them using the same lens to look at the real chart. If you have no limitations, uh, what would you do now differently in your role in this project? Inevitably, many suggestions will follow. Depending upon the, num uh, on the number of people, you may either ask them to hand them in on paper or use uh, stick notes and stick them exactly right on the Gantt chart that you should have available for the team to use. Another footnote here in large font. These suggestions must be analyzed, reviewed by the leaders of the organization and the feedback provided to the team. If it's not done, if the leadership of the organization looking at it from the ivory tower think that it's a little bit naive and useless, then the motivation of your team will plummet and this exercise will do harm, not good. But even one of the suggestions that will inevitably follow and you will get one gem, it will cover all the possible costs associated with this team exercise and pay forward for future exercises of the same nature that you should have with your team on a regular basis. Although this exercise, the tire change exercise, is primarily directed at the doers, uh, that the frontline workers and the like, it generates a lot of transferable insights for all project stakeholders. Let's watch uh, the video again. And in addition to the laudable behaviors that were already marked on the whiteboard, the F1 team demonstrates effective communication and the team has a clear system of meetings with updates and feedback. And actually feedback and recognition is an integral part of a good team's performance. And now the leadership there is obvious and all above all the above uh, behaviors are not possible without capable leadership you'll say what's capable leadership 
advanced leadership, enlightened leadership, call it whatever you like, you may come up with your adjective which is better than mine, let me know. But what the guy is doing in this video is it. Advanced leaders are like farmers. Farmers do not grow wheat. They create conditions for the wheat to grow. Likewise, my suggestion to you, accept this strategy of a leader as a farmer. Do not deliver project scope. Deliver the conditions for the project team to deliver the project scope most effectively and efficiently. One final leadership footnote, especially if you are ready to embrace this leader-like farmer mentality. Those of you who will drive these workshops must digest, internalize, make an integral, natural part of your project work. This focus on the positive, the how-to approach, not why not, right? You remember that. Focus on the improvements and not on what someone might have done better or and what will be the punishment for not having done it properly. If you think that those negative things are critically important, leave them for the risk management sessions. And if you don't have them, come back again. We'll cover risk management soon. In a typical control chart, there are extremes that are good and extreme and bad extremes. And unless this was a fatal accident or a near miss, ignore the bad results for now. Eliminate all penalties and reprimands, focus on the best results, analyze the how-to of your team and praise the team for the results. The tool may cut your initial estimates by 50%. It will also reduce your costs, mitigate your risks and increase safety. But at first, especially at first, you will face pushback, especially in the beginning. People are reluctant to participate in this soft team activities, but you will see the results quite soon. And when they see the results, they will change their mind. Consider this the most important phase of your project, because this is where the project management brings the most value, helping your team to develop and to do their ultimate best. Of course, this exercise requires more than 10 minutes in preparation and implementation. Perhaps we should dedicate an entire class to this exercise, the tire change tool, and discuss it in details because it's extremely important and extremely powerful in performance improvement and team building process. And when properly done, it unites all the stakeholders towards the same project or company goal. But in this class, we are already running out of time so try it with your team and get in touch with me to share experiences or to ask a question if something doesn't work the way you expect it optimization is a phase in project management 2.0 project cycle however in reality this is an ongoing process merged with other phases and activities so we may touch upon this optimization thing next time and again and again when we look at the implementation phase of the project management 2.0 project life cycle next week. This is part of Project Managers Not PMP's course. To stay in the know, subscribe to Collectiva.